Good evening YouTube, how are you doing? I am back again for some more random ultimate team, two in a row. Was, uh, two in a row, that makes more sense. Two days in a row, that makes more sense. Uh, starting off this episode straight away by going into a game. This guy's got a decent team, he's got a Miyachi, Campbell, uh, is it Simeon Jackson up front, so you know, he's got a bit of pace, but I start off just passing it across, seeing, the, seeing him in space and, you know, a few rebounds later, it finally gets in the back of the net. You know, we'll we'll take it. We need goals. We need to bounce back from uh, yesterday's. Well, I'll say yesterday. It's not like I recorded it yesterday, but yeah, yesterday's video. And uh, another goal there. Hoyler going pretty big. I mean, that's a pretty decent finish for him. So uh, yeah, we're two 0 up at this point, and this guy decided he didn't like being two 0 down in the first half, so he's quit. So you know, I'll take it. I'll take the win. It's some easy coins. Did not finish uh, bonus going up. I think it might actually be at the top of this point, I might be close to it. And uh, hopping on the old random number generator, I get number 17, which is Sidney Govu, I think that's his name. Not a bad player at all, but uh, spoilers, I don't end up using him because I just figured Hoyle is better. And if I keep, if I try to put him in right wing, or left wing, sorry, uh, the chemistry just goes down. So I was like, uh, fuck it, I don't really need him, just get rid of him. I also get this guy, I think it's like... Lajic or Lajic, I don't really know how to say it but he turns out to be fairly decent, so uh, so yeah, we'll go search for another game. And uh, this game, I think we ended up playing, oh no, it's, it's the next game after this, we ended up playing in the, in the same uh, same colour kit, which is a mistake. But this guy, as you can see, has a pretty quote-unquote sweaty team. Goal goalkeeper, he's got Roger Johnson in form, who's a bit ridiculous, and he's just got all bronze players, and then up front he's got Gabby Abonlaho, who's just got pit, so you know. And uh, after that, this is in the second half, he brings on a Walcott, which is just, uh, let's just bring on some more pace, and we're playing on a snowy pitch. I'm defending quite well at this point, but he gets a bit of a dubious penalty, I can't quite see it on the, the box, the preview window, but it, it doesn't look Stonewall, but that's FIFA for you, and he steps up. And is he going to put it away? Yes, he does. I was close to getting it, but... The odds were against me. Gods were not kind to that on this day. And then it's, it's about 20 minutes later into the game. He goes across the keeper and scores. You know, never going to save them. Especially, you know, the pace of Bon La Hors is completely cutting through my defence. But 2-0. Uh, to be honest, I thought I didn't play that well. Uh, not at the I didn't play that bad in that game, and I thought I was going to lose a lot more than that, considering, you know, he had 100 chemistry and he had pacey players. So, uh, you know, I was angry, but at the same time, I was sort of surprised. This guy, yeah, this is the game here where we're playing the same kit. This guy's got a fairly attacking squad. Um, you know, his defence isn't great, but he's got Johnson and Sean Wright Phillips. They were the main two I was thinking about, because, you know, the pace and they've got decent finishing on that. And uh, it comes to the play here, Johnson just manages to like steal a ball off my player and pretty nice finish there. So, you know, straight away he, he come into a play and I was thinking that this isn't going to go well. But then I just play some disgusting long ball football. And uh, yeah, managed to get my player on side because he was in uh, my half and catch him on the counter. And that's, a, you know, he brought his keeper out but still pretty decent little uh, player there. And then uh, this is a little bit later, Lajic or whatever he's called, I don't even know what his name is. Doing some nice dribbling, just turning in and out, ripping the defence apart. And, you know, pretty nice goal in my opinion. They, they are hard to defend them, so, you know, a bit hard for him. And then they, uh, I try to shoot, pretty poor shot to be honest, and he runs it into, the, um, into his net. But it's one of them lose-lose situations, because if the, the player hadn't got it, you could see my player was right behind him, so he probably would have, uh, you know, just walked into the back of the net. So, yeah, it didn't really make too much difference. And here, he passes it to me pretty much. And I, looking back now, I should have just given it back to him since I was 3-1 up. But after the, the few bad games I had, I was just like, you know, I want the coins, I want to win. And uh, I didn't know how well he was going to do. And then uh, that's that silver guy who... That's a pretty decent like build up and then the finish was just sort of like so weak and that I'm not sure how his keeper didn't save it. I can't remember. actually did he have a bronze keeper that might explain it. Uh, a bit later on, he gets a little bit lucky there, but Adam Johnson goes through and that's a pretty decent goal, I'll give him that. Nothing wrong with it. And then but he does some weird celebration which uh, you know, I never celebrate when I'm losing and that, so I don't really see why he's doing that. I mean it's not even like it's close, he's he's five two. 
And then a bit later, Darren Bent going through. Fairly decent finish, you know, just what's the word we call it, like in the game, like passing it to the corner or stroking it to the corner. I don't know, I don't have the Alan Smith voice, so, you know, with the saying yeah, W's and all that. So, yeah, it doesn't have the same effect. But uh, this guy, you know, he wasn't terrible. I just seemed to catch him on the counter quite a lot. He must have been playing ultra attacking or something like that, or playing a high line. Uh, I don't like playing a high line because, you know, when I play against Graham, he... He sometimes plays a quite a high line and it ends up costing him. And a great little celebration by Darren Bent there running the net over and over. But uh, yeah, we won 7-2 and, you know, it's, it's pretty decent. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's uh, two wins out of three in this game and we're going back on the number generator here. Getting number 19 and I think I get... Yeah, I'm just sort of... At this point I think I was looking at the number generator because I think I'd done it wrong or something. But uh, eventually get the play and you might be able to see who it is there. It's the Juventus centre-back, Barzagli or someone like that. At first I thought he wasn't going to be that good, but he turns out to be quite a, a decent sign. And once again, uh, Italian Serie A, so that's good. I also got a silver centre-back playing for PSG called Arm. And uh, I don't know what happened to the, the footage, I must have accidentally cut it. I also sent over enough coins for another pack. And I get a few decent players in here. The only reason I didn't, I mean, I get rid of them, but the only reason I didn't keep them was because, like, um, I've already got Lich starting a right back, and I also have Hoylet right wing, and he's in the right formation, in the right position, while Bashikovsky isn't. But I decided to keep uh, Koscielny because, you know, he's better than the silver players that I've got there. Uh, get a few consumables, which is decent. I think I get a few managers there again. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But uh, this is pretty much like what the squad is looking like at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that, this is the end of the episode then. Uh, there should, I might have another one out tomorrow or the next day. I've got to record some more as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm signing out because I'm, I don't know what I'm saying here, but basically, yeah, end of the episode. I'm going to have to go cry because Middlesbrough got beat today. And, uh, yeah, see you later.